What's going on, people? King Rich is back again, yeah? And we are going to talk about some things today. Because I've been getting heat from Twitter, from Instagram, everywhere, bro. Everybody's got something to say about the king. And I just find it to be really weird. I think that a lot of these people are deliberately uh, judging me based on 10-second clips, 30-second clips. They're not doing their due diligence to find out what actually are the facts and what is actually going on. And a lot of times... A lot of people out there are not used to a man being in charge or being in a position of authority on his own platform or in his own space. And I'm a guy who I like to be in control of my own platform and my own space. And it doesn't matter. It's equal opportunities. You can leave. And it's not being disrespectful, especially when I ask nicely to follow the rules. But anyway, we're going to jump into this reaction video. Uh, a certain personality in the UK uh, decided to tweet and make a weird comment about uh, a clip that she's seen. So anyway, we're going to jump into this. Let's go, man. First things first. The first thing we are going to do is get context. Let's get context, because on my show, a lot of people come along, the guests come along to my show, you know, we have a conversation, it's a podcast, and uh, they are given a set of rules. The first rule is, please do not interrupt the host. The reason why we don't want guests to interrupt the host, i.e. me, as you can see me right there, <laughs> right here, or right here, yeah, right here, is that... Basically, we have a set number of questions, a set number of topics we need to get through in an allotted time. Time is money, right? So, obviously, I'm not going to let people just basically do whatever the hell they want to do on the show. They have to abide by the rules. First things first, they need to answer questions. If they want to answer or they don't want to answer, that's cool. That's fine. I will allow people to speak. It's not a thing of I'm trying to be a tyrant or I'm trying to be overbearing or be horrible to people. I just, I'm doing my job, right? And if people are not abiding by the rules, then they have to leave. It's simple. It's just like when you go to work and you decide, oh, I'm going to be late to work every week. You're probably going to get fired very quickly. You're going to have to leave. But most people do abide by the rules. And just because I'm doing a podcast doesn't mean that it's a free for all. Everyone can just come and do whatever they will like. It doesn't work like that. And guess what? I've done podcasts where men have been a part of the show and men have been kicked off my show as well. So all this talk about does King Riches have the same energy for men? Yes, I do. Actually. And guess what? There was a guy on Instagram that said, oh, King, King Riches, you're an insecure neek. And I offered him, I said, bro, if that's the case and you really believe that, why don't you inbox me and we can set up a boxing match? We could put the gloves on respectfully and we can set up, we can video it. Whether I win or I lose, I'll post it. Then the guy was like, oh, you're insecure. Oh, you're childish. Uh, bro, you can't win with these people. But anyway, let's jump to this reaction right now. Let's jump into it. This is when, um, you know, just as it usually happens, one of the guests decide that she's just going to do whatever she wants to do. She's not following the rules and she had to leave. Let's jump into it. Let's go. Let's go. Construction sites. Well, it doesn't matter, but there's other jobs. It doesn't jobs. matter there's because other there's jobs. not really Hold no on. women on construction there's sites. There's other jobs that they may do that, <laughs> may, like that, that may affect their hands. Like what? Being a health HCA, a health set. Care support worker that that has what? a lot to do with your hands. Yeah, there's a lot. Are of they things. picking up bricks and stones? And it doesn't matter. For it me, does matter because you if you're ask, picking up those kind no, of things, it will all do something to your hands. You asked now, me a question. No, but what you're saying doesn't. Now, let me give context. Basically, I asked her, what does she like in men? She said she likes men with nice hands. She doesn't want a guy that's got mashed up hands and stuff like that. So basically, we're talking about the fact that if a guy works on a construction site, he's probably going to have mashed up hands. And then she was saying something along the... And I was saying a lot of times women do not pick those kind of jobs and don't go into those kind of occupations where it's going to be uh, picking up rough things or they're going to have the risk of hurting their hands or scratching and, and stuff like that, right? And then she basically came back and said, oh, hey, uh, health, health care support workers are at the risk of her, like having rough hands and stuff like that. And, you know, it was just a it was just a nonsensical back and forth. Is BS? Though. No, it's not. Because it is. <laughs> a man, if a man has nice hands, that's what I like. What did you say the worker is? A HCA. Are you, you so you are comparing that to somebody? I'm not that comparing is it, but you said you give are, an example. You actually, yeah. 
as a comparison. Yeah, but there's loads of other things I can say. Like what? Because there's women like that are, there, there's women that do do work on construction sites. There's women that are Bro. gas engineers. There's women that do a lot of things to do with their hands. When's the last time you saw uh, when a house is being built, you saw a woman up there? There's a lot of them. When was there's... the last? You see, she's not even answering the question. She's completely ignoring what I'm saying. When was the last time you seen a woman? I will ask you lot watching. When's the last time you seen a woman on a construction site or building a house? When's the last time? I'm not saying it's impossible, but I'm just saying it's unlikely that you're going to see many women out there on scaffolding or bricklaying it's just unlikely you know the probability is low that's all i was trying to say even a woman you don't answer the question you go off with your own tangent no. i'm asking you a straight question and when was are, the last you... stop 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 you're no. not in charge here stop acting I'm like not, you're in charge i'm not stop talking over me and stop talking over me as well but you just asked me a question no no, and no, no. I'm and you didn't answer it. it you didn't answer yes. it. and she didn't answer the question i said how what i was saying Basically, when's the last time you've seen a woman on a construction site? And her answer is they, they, they're there. There's plenty of them. There's many of them. That's not an answer to the question. The question was, when was the last time she had seen a woman on a construction site? That was what I was asking her. I wasn't asking her how many of them exist. You see, but because she's only listening to what she's saying, she's not listening to what I'm saying. And she's still trying to talk over me, even though she's already wrong. You started talking about something else. What I, I, I asked about? you a straight question. I asked you, when is the last time you seen a woman uh, on a Yesterday. house being built? Yesterday, where? Yeah. You're a liar, bro. Shoreditch. I don't believe you. You're a liar. You're a liar. So now I'm a liar because I'm answering your question. Bro. So why didn't you say that straight away? Because I didn't need to. What? What do you mean you didn't need to? That was the question. <laughs> I asked you, when's the last time you seen a woman on a construction site? If it was yesterday... The logical thing would be to say, I saw a woman on a construction site yesterday in Shoreditch. Why would you start saying there's many of them first? Why wouldn't you just answer the question? You see, she was trying to play smart, and I do believe that she was lying. Absolutely. And these lights are hot as hell, man. I'm sweating under these lights. It's so crazy. But anyway, let's carry on. But that was the question, though. The question was what I find attractive in men. No. Oh, my God. And the, you, I answered. So you're not following the conversation? Is that what you, like, bro? You, how do you ask me what do, I find attractive in bro, men. Bro, yes, bro. Look, she's deliberately now just, like, derailing the whole conversation. Deliberately. We was talking about men on construction sites and men's hands being rough and stuff like that and the likelihood of seeing a woman on a construction site. Now she's backtracking to the original question... When in the midst of talking about the likelihood of seeing a woman on a construction site, how how does that make logical sense? Like she's deliberately doing that to cause confusion. No. No, bro, 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 bro. I yes asked you no. that in, in the first question. Then we moved on. You said you like good hands. And then you started talking about yeah, men I on did. construction sites. And then I and What's then the you, question? Bro, look, see? Interrupt again. What's the question? She's deliberately acting like she doesn't understand what's going on and she she knows exactly what is going on. She, at, her mission at that point was to derail the conversation, just cause confusion, chaos, and just make it a circus. That's what she was trying to do there. Anybody, anybody can see that that's what is happening at this point. Like, seriously, if you're going to do that, I'm, I'm not having it, bruv. Okay. You're going to have to calm down, seriously, because this ain't your show. Okay. And we're running a professional show. So if you want to do a circus thing, I don't know. Like, What's the question? Like, seriously, she's not listening. She's like, what's the question? She's not even listening. <laughs> she's just completely ignoring me. You need to calm down. I will ask the question. I don't need I you need to, to ask me nothing. Down. Yes. Okay. Yes, seriously. What did you ask everybody else? Bruh, stop acting like you're in charge. Stop asking questions. I'll ask you the question, bruv. Simple. What do you bruh, find attractive? Nah, nah. See? <laughs> She's being so polite and so cooperative, isn't she? She's the one who's in the right right now. She's not listening to me. I'm, I'm, bro, I'm breaking it down. I'm saying, look, stop talking. I'm going to ask you lot the questions, right? And then she's just like, what did you... Bro, that is rude. She's being disrespectful at this point. She's completely disrespecting me. She's ignoring me. It's the ho I'm the host of the show. Like, it's not even about me being... Like, some people be saying, oh, King Richards is insecure and he's on a power trip and blah, blah, blah. Bro, I'm the moderator of the show. Like, I d bruh, like, I don't understand these people. Like, I don't understand their gripe with me right now. 
They just want me to sit back and let w- this this people like this guest here just run riot and do whatever they want they want to do and say it whatever they want to say. This is crazy, bro. Get Good off, men. man. Get off, man. Get off. What do you find attractive in men? Well, you're, you're, you're... She's still just talking, oblivious that to the to the fact that she's being annoying and being disruptive. She just she just does not care. Being annoying. I'm gonna give you one. You know what? I don't, I'm not even trying to make this a circus. I'm going to give you one last wow. chance. Please, let me just do my show how I do the show, bruv. Please. You are please, asking a question. Please, just, I keep saying, please, please, please. She's not listening. She's ignoring me. Let's listen to it again. Let's listen to it again. I did not want to kick her off the show. I didn't want to kick her off. I don't want to kick guests off the show. The only time I kick guests off the show is when it's got to the point where there's no talking to them no more. They're just not listening. They're ignoring. They just want to do what they want to do. And we can't have that. No platform have, uh, of any kind of professionalism will let a guest come and just do whatever on their show. It don't work like that. Do you know what? I don't, I'm not even trying to make this a circus. I'm going to give you one last wow. chance. Please, let me just do my show how I do the show, bruv. Please. You are please, asking a question please, and just I stop, you. Stop, saying, stop saying stuff. Please. Please. Can I, can I move on? You Without, can move on, definitely. Then stop interrupting. That was the first rule of the show. Don't over-talk the host and keep doing it. And I'm trying not to kick you off. Look, I'm trying not to kick her off. What more do you lot want from me? All you dummies that keep writing comments to me, negative comments, all you people that write in, oh, yeah, you're disrespectful, you're disrespectful. Please tell me how that was disrespectful. I want to know how that is disrespectful. Please. I keep saying, please. I'm pleading with her. Please. I don't want to kick you off the show. I don't want to make this a circus of kicking people off the show. But she just, they just don't care, bro. They just don't care. Like, and you keep doing it. You keep adding another thing, another thing. Like, please don't do that no more. Please. Like, I'm not being, and you can make all the faces you want. I'm not being nasty because I'm asking you and I'm saying, please. Yeah. I keep saying, please. Like, literally every single time I've had to kick somebody off my show, right? And people of different colours, so don't make this a race issue because that's, that's the new thing, the narrative they're trying to make. Oh, it's only, he only does it to certain types of women. No, I, I, I kick anyone off and I'll kick guys off the show too. I've done it already. So I just want to know where you lot are going with it. And again, you know, there's guys out there that, sit, that talk a good game and say, oh, yeah, you're a neek, you're this, you're that, bro. With your one picture I Instagram page, bro. Like, bro, like you can go on my channel and see me fighting guys. Like, like it's, please, just, just save all that. He hasn't got energy for guys because I obviously do. So I don't know. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, let's carry on. Thank you. <sighs> Flip here now, man. Wow. 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 <laughs> she just had to say something extra. Wow. And I'm sweating. <laughs> I just come back from the gym. I just done a hundred burpees, bro. <laughs> Before anyone say, oh, Kim Richards was sweating, bruv. I just did a hundred burpees, bruh. Just come from the gym just now. Yeah. But anyway. Why are you saying wow for? You said flipping now. But I asked you not to speak. So why are you saying wow? Look, she's laughing. Because <laughs> everybody's saying I'm so disrespectful. She's laughing, bro. She's laughing at me. She's laughing at the show. She's laughing because she doesn't care. She doesn't care. She's used to doing this. She's used to it. She's used to like doing this kind of behavior and the guy has to have it, bro. Well, well I'm sorry. Like, I don't have to have it. She can leave. Simples. Do you know what? So what? What I find in this show, yeah, is that a lot of women just do not respect guys, bro, at all, bro. They don't respect anything I'm doing. Like at the end of the day, bro, like we are in uh, the top floor of a, of a building, yeah, in an apartment with no neighbors and nobody above us, yeah. We've t- top of the range equipment, everything. We've invited people to come, and I'm asking somebody on the show, please. Do not over talk me. And they keep doing it, bruv. I don't know you. I've only met you today. Okay. And look, interrupting again. And I never listen. I never called this woman a name. I never said anything that's insulting about her. I never poked fun at her or anything like that. I just asked her to stop interrupting, bro. 
That's all. That's the major violation that King Rich has done. Asking someone to stop interrupting. I give people the chance to speak the whole way through the podcast. That's why the podcasts are so long. But if you just keep trying to act like you're in control here, then there's going to be an issue. And that's it. But this is the major disrespect. This is what all these people on Twitter and Instagram are saying about me. He's so disrespectful. We've got another, we've got the other kick out because the other woman out there, she's made the video, you know, which is getting all these views and now I'm getting hate from her camp, from the, from her corner as well. But like, and they're trying to make it a race issue when it's not because I'll kick out anybody. I've done it many times. So like, you know, they're, they're really reaching at this point. But anyway. But we're having a conversation. But, but there's no but. Just there's no okay. but. You're not, in, you're not in charge. Okay. You're not in charge. Don't you understand that? You're not in charge. Like... You need to just chill. I'm the host. It's my show. If you went on some other show, you would have respect. When you go to work, you I have respect. I do have respect. Trust then stop me. Stop talking. Then stop talking over me. And stop interrupting. Stop interjecting. Stop having to, to always say something. It's annoying. It's jarring. Like it's really jarring. Seriously. Out there, everyone watching, because I guess this is the part I was so disrespectful. Right? I was just set, setting the record straight. Like. Question to everyone watching, yeah? Have you ever come across somebody, it could be a man or a woman, right, who always has to have the last word? Like, think about how annoying that is. Think about that. Now, think about you have put your time, effort, and, and money into creating a platform, creating a show, and you invite random people, you know, people you don't know from Adam, right? They come to your show and then they come here with some mad arrogance and like, they're just not taking what you're doing seriously. And when you're speaking, they just want to speak over you and just like, basically just ignore you. How are you going to feel? Like, like, I really, really like to hear the opinions of all these, a lot of them are women, but some guys as well. A lot of these people who are telling me I'm so disrespectful and stuff like that. I would like to know how they would act in that situation. Because at the end of the day, um, the type of guy I am, you know, they, 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 you have to understand, like, if I am the, the host or the moderator or I'm in charge in this situation, I'm going to have that responsibility of what goes on in this show. And I have the responsibility of making sure the guests behave themselves and act right. And that's just, that's just the name of the game. If you're somebody who can't control yourself and you know that you always want to get the last word and, you know, you don't like to follow rules, then, you know, from when we are told the real rules before the podcast starts, you probably should get up and leave straight away and be like, you know what? I always like to talk over people. I don't like to follow rules. We're going to have a problem, so I just won't talk. I will respect that. But anyway. Bruh, you lot hit the like button anyway. Listen, this is the thing about this show, yeah? Like, I'm not trying to make it a circus of, oh, I kick people out all the time, but it's just like, bruh, like, the problem with a lot of modern women these days, they haven't had a guy tell them to stop talking or follow the rules or anything because most of the guys around you are so desperate to sleep with you. Facts. Press one in the chat or write a comment underneath this video when, if you know that's the truth. Facts. That's why so many, uh, so many people on social media are upset when I tell people to leave and come off my podcast because they're not used to that. They're not used to a man standing on his square unapologetically. They're not used to it. They're only used to guys who are simps, guys that are easy to roll over or pushovers or guys that are, just, you know, oh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm just not going to say nothing. I'm just going to let people just do whatever they want to do, you know, just because you want to sleep with them. So you just let them treat you anyhow. And then that person that you're letting treat you anyhow ends up not respecting you. Bro, like, is what it is, fam. It is where it is. That's what it is. I'm not trying to sleep with any of you. So I can tell you to get out and kick you out and not feel nothing. I'm still going to make money. I'm still going to be in here. I'm still going to be doing my job. And we're still going to have other guests. It doesn't matter. Straight. Like, at the end of the day, like, it is what it is. Like, follow the rules and that's it. 
That's it. All she had to do is just follow the rules. I'm not telling her to be completely quiet. I'm not telling her to completely shut down. All I was saying is stop interrupting me on my show. Please. Please. I said please so many times, bro. I didn't want to kick her off. I said it in the video. I don't want to kick you off. I don't want to make this a circus. But that's not good enough for you lot out there uh, sending me comments about, oh, yeah, you should get jumped and all of this stuff. Bro, like, with all that kind of wicked talk, just know that, bruh, <laughs> you better be sure of what you're doing, bruv. That's all I'm going to say. I don't need to gas on nothing, bruv. Like, and if you don't want to follow the rules, you can get out. And that's it. Like, it's not me being rude, it's not me being nasty, it's not me, oh, uh, targeting you, trying to be funny or anything like that. But at the end of the day, the rules are the rules, fam. You good? Yeah. What? Too much negativity. Yeah, this one jumped up and said, too much negativity. <sighs> She was she was deliberately being being difficult on the show. She, you've come to a podcast, but then when you sit down on the podcast, you don't want to speak. You don't want to talk. That's that was her. Another one that wants to cause c confusion and chaos. What? Nothing. Are you leaving? Bro, I'm about to end this whole show and tell everyone to get out, bro. Swear down, bro. Like you lot getting on my look. Even the other girl could see that. That was mad. Look, look at her expression. Hold on. You good? Yeah. What? Too much negative. What? Nothing. Are you li she just literally got up, no warning, just got up. <laughs> no respect. They think they're in their house, bruv. No respect. Leaving. No, nah, I'm just going to the bog. I'm not leaving. She said she's not leaving, she's just going to the bog. You're not at home, bruv. You're not at home, bruh. Bruh, I'm about to end this whole show and tell everyone to get out, bruv. Look at the, the one in the green's face. And look at that, the chick on the end. She's smiling. She's happy. The black girl, the black girl in the middle with the straight, with the straight, um, the stripes on her dress. She's just straight face because she knows that this is mad, bro. And the reason why I know this is mad because is when you watch the whole video, she said that this was mad, bro. <laughs> the one in the green is just like, what is going on? And look at the one on the end, the one who caused all the chaos and all the confusion with her, with her weird behavior. She's just happy, smiling. Look, she's smiling. She, she's, her mission's complete. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, and people are telling me I was disrespectful to her. She disrupted the whole show on purpose. And I asked her, please do not interrupt me. That's all I, that's all I asked her to do. She couldn't do it. Swear down, bro. Like, you lot getting on my nerves, bruv. How the girl gonna say, oh, I'm too much negativity. I'm just going to the toilet, bruv. Bruh, this show, bruh. The next person to do something annoying, I'm kicking them out, bruv. Look, she's laughing. You can hear her laughing, bro. What the hell is going on, bro? No respect. If, if, I, if I was somebody else from a different demographic, they would, they would act different, bruv. I'm telling you, bruv. Absolutely. I'm telling you. Everyone knows what I'm talking about as well. If I was a different demographic, they wouldn't be acting like that. That's facts. That's facts. You see where it is, yeah? A lot of people are not used to seeing somebody that looks like me in a position of authority. And I will stand by that. And that's why I get so much backlash now. All these people on Twitter saying this and saying that and talking about my family members and all of this. When they, they, They're talking about somebody that they don't even know. And they're basing all their opinions on 10 seconds of a t a, like, you know, a three hour live stream. Three hour live stream. They'll base all their judgments and opinions about me as a person and my family life based on uh, 30 seconds out of a three-hour video. Look, look how she's just looking at me, bro. Look, look at, bro, look how she's smiling. She thinks it's funny. This is a joke. Next question, yeah? Next question. When is a woman's prime? When do you lot think a woman's prime is? Go on. I think your prime is at 30. Right, this is it's a little irrelevant. bit irrelevant. Just maybe. 
And don't make no noise, just leave, bruv. Are you leaving? Then don't make no noise, just leave, bruv. Donut, she was annoying anyway. <laughs> she was annoying. She don't know nothing, I don't know what I like. <laughs> like, <laughs> dummy, bruv. Like, bye, man. Bruh, like, uh, bruh, I really, I really just don't, because at the end of the day, the, the way, the way I think about things, I'm not trying to sleep with anyone here, so it, I don't care. I, is that what was disrespectful? Because I said I'm not trying to sleep with anyone here. Is that's what, is that what is so disrespectful? Hmm. Just don't care. <laughs> don't give two craps. Or maybe because I said I don't give two craps. That was so weird. This guy is so weird. I could do the show on my own. I do it all the time. Like, it's nothing. You get what I'm saying? Everyone just needs to chill. Like, respectfully, I appreciate everyone that comes to the show. You know, we treat you lot nice. You know, everything. But then when we start rolling the show, then it's just like some next, oh, power struggle. Like, oh, I'm just going to say anything. No, you ain't going to say nothing. Like, or act like you're in control. You're not, bro. Like, like, is that where I was so disrespectful and violating? Because we treat the guests very, very nice. Before the, even before the cameras start rolling, while the cameras are rolling and after the cameras are rolling, we treat the guests really, really nice. We actually cater to the guests as much as possible. So I don't know. I don't know why, like, they're trying to make out. We're so, I, our King Riches is so horrible and disrespectful. It's a lie. Absolute lies. It's, bruh. This is why a lot of women end up single. This is why a lot of women end up just getting high body counts. And they don't know why. Why is my life gone like this? Because you're the common denominator, bruv. Your attitude is the common denominator, bruv. That's why, bruv. Because of your choices in life. That's why, bro. And don't blame it all because of all men. Because you don't date all men. Is that what I said that was disrespectful? I'm basically saying that a lot of people need to be accountable for their actions. Simple. Be accountable for your actions. Be accountable for how you behave. If somebody asks you, you know what? Please stop talking over me on this show. Like... Why can't you just respect the rules of the show and just stop talking over them? I don't understand why that's an issue. People who have that kind of problem of, you know, not following rules or just doing whatever, yeah, they usually have poor outcomes. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's it. Uh, what's funny, like? Yeah, she's just been laughing the whole time, laughing. Tell me what's funny, like... Um, can I ask you a question? No. Nah. And she said, can I ask you a question? Which I already made it clear to her. I asked the questions because I want to get you lot's opinions about you lot's lives. It's not about asking me questions about my life necessarily. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, at that point, I understood that she was just being an agent of chaos on my show. Like, she was just there trying to cause confusion, you know, not answer questions properly and just basically derail the whole show. That was, that was what her mission was. So I wasn't really, I wasn't going to be answering her questions. Okay. Nah, okay. So you then, can answer the question so then, I asked. So then don't ask me what's funny then. No, nah, then get off the show then. If you're going to be funny. like that, then get off the but show. But you bro. just said no, to no, me no, no, what's no, funny. No, 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 no. You're so not said, in control. Your you're question. not in control. You're I said, control. you asked me Turn what's funny. Turn off my mic, bruv. You know, you you're not, you're not going to just funny. do what you want. You're not going to just do what you want. But did you not ask me a You're not just going to do what you want. Did you ask me a question? Bruh. You said, what's funny? And Bro. I said, Bro. can I ask you a question? Turn off the mic, bro. Get out, bro. You've got issues. Just get out, bro. Yeah, I will get, get out. out. I will get out. There's no out. problem with that. Get out, man. Don't ask me if I can... Look, she... <laughs> Why don't you just leave? If the host said, please, just, just, just get out. Why, why are you still there talking? What is there to talk about? Bear in mind, I still haven't called her any names. I haven't sworn at her. I haven't said anything about her personal whatever. You know, I just asked her to leave. And that was it. Because I understood what she was doing. She was there to just derail the whole conversation. And she was laughing and enjoying herself while she was doing it. And I had enough. She was time for her to leave. I'm not asking you nothing. So then, so then, I just, you said to me, what's funny? So I said, can I ask you a question? And then... Because... And then, so you answering and, a question with a question makes sense to you. You asked me what's funny, bro, so I said, nah, can I bro. ask you a question?
Exactly. She answered a question with a question. I asked her what's funny because what I was saying was serious. It wasn't a joke. She's laughing in the corner for some reason, but we we know we understand why she was laughing because she wanted to be an agent of chaos on the show. That's why she was laughing. So it was funny to her that I, you know, now that the whole show has been derailed, it's funny to her because she's completed her mission. That's why it was funny, bruv. And that's why I asked her, what's so funny? And then her response to what's so funny is, can I ask you a question? Why would that be a suitable answer? But again, King Riches is disrespectful and violating. Okay. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Just leave. At this point, just leave. Why are you still sitting there? Like, wh like I don't understand. Why, why is she still sitting there? Why? But you lot are, but these people out there, these women and these simps, they're just going to defend it because it's all about defending bad behavior, you know. And if, if a guy like me tries to be in a position of leadership or authority, you know, we have to try and tear him down. Yes, of course, that makes all the sense in the world. Anyway, let's get to the tweet. Let's get to the tweet, man. Enough of that. So ZZ Mills, a, a, a very well-known UK personality, um... She decided to retweet a clip and we're going to see the clip because this is what these people do. They will take specific segments. They will cut segments out of videos and try to paint a narrative, try to make you look bad. Yeah. So what happens is people like what, well, like ZZ Mills has done here is they look at these clips which are out of context and then make opinions and then come at the person without doing their research to go and see the full video or maybe watch the whole live stream to see or maybe see multiple videos of this guy and see what is actually about what is he like is he as bad as they say he is because guess what i did a live stream and i had two black women on there on the live stream just last night and everything went great it was smooth everyone was laughing and joking we was even talking over each other at certain points and it was lovely it was a great live stream. And there's multiple my live streams like that. The, the, the amount of times I've had to kick somebody out is minimal. It's the, the minority of times. We've done, we, we, we're close enough to 80 podcasts now. And now one, two, one or two kickouts have made me public enemy number one. This is crazy. And now I have an issue with women from my community. It's you, it, bro, you lot are not real. You lot are not real. But anyway, so what did she say? ZZ Mills says, I need th those ladies to stand up because ain't no way. What a weird youth. I'm so confused. What was weird about that? Let's play the clip that she's referring to. Because this is obviously... Uh, two minutes and twelve. Let's see. What is the part that she's talking okay. about? Hey, 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 Why are you making noise for? <laughs> Either you're coming back on the show or you're leaving. Mm -hmm. Are you leaving? Then don't make no noise. Just leave, bruv. Hold on, pause it. Notice where it started. It started with no context. <laughs> this video started with no context. Zero. Or it started off where the, the other girl got up. If you remember what we've just reacted to, the other girl just abruptly got up. Yeah. She's messing around in the back. And for some reason, this video starts there. Anyway. Let's go back. Oh, no. She was annoying anyway. <laughs> She don't know nothing. I don't know what I like. <laughs> like, dummy, bro. Like, bye, man. Bro, like, uh, bro. So, obviously, this clip makes me look like some mad guy. <laughs> like, I'm just, uh, uh, I'm just being mean for no reason. Like, like, it's the, you clip, you people that clip these videos, but you're, you're scumbags, bro. You're scumbags. You, you, you're slime. You're slime. And the people that watch these clips and then write all these comments and start saying all this stuff, bro, you, you, you need to think. Think. A clip comes from somewhere. That means there's more to it than that two minutes and 12 seconds. There's more to it. Crazy. I really, I really just don't, because at the end of the day, the, 
the way the way I think about things, I'm not trying to sleep with anyone here. So it, I don't care. I just don't care. <laughs> don't give two craps. I could do the show on my own. I do it all the time. Like it's nothing. Which is true. I do shows on my own all the time. I don't see where the disrespect is there. And since a lot of you people out there, you tell me, oh, King Richards, you're ugly, you're ugly. They should be happy that I'm not trying to sleep with any of them. <laughs> Shouldn't you not be happy because I'm so ugly all of a sudden? Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Everyone just needs to chill. Like, respectfully, I appreciate everyone that comes to the show. You know, we treat you lot nice. Respectfully, I appreciate everybody that comes to the show and we treat you nice. Yes. You know, everything, but then when we start rolling the show, then it's just like some next, oh, power struggle, like, oh, I'm just going to say anything. No, you ain't going to say nothing, like, or act like you're in control. You're not, bro. Like, like, it's, bro. This is why a lot of women end up single. This is why a lot of women end up just getting high body counts. And they don't know why. Why is my life gone like this? Because you're the common denominator, bro. Your attitude is the common denominator, bro. That's why, bro. You see, and this is what's triggered a lot of these people on these social media platforms because I said some real crap. I said some real ish. Bro, if you keep if you're having bad um outcomes or you you're not where you want to be or you're not getting the kind of people you want in your life or you you're not having this kind of relationships that you want, you're the common denominator in your life. You are the constant. <laughs> Bro, like, I don't see how that's such a disrespectful or weird thing to say. Why am I weird for that? But, oh, I get it. You know, you've only seen a two minutes at 12 seconds out of a longer video and you've made your assumption. You've made your, you've made your assumption. You've, you've assumed you know the kind of person I am. You've assumed that you know what I'm about and what my motives and intentions are. And you've made the decision that, oh, I'm a weird guy. I'm a weird you. Ladies need to stand up. What do you mean ladies need to stand up? Bro, I bring women on my show every single day, fam. I do, I do, I do, I, bro, I'm around women every single day, multiple women, women from different backgrounds, colors, creeds all the time, bro. Majority of them don't have a problem. Like 99% of the women I come into uh, contact with on the show professionally or in my normal life, they have no problem with me, bro. So for you to try and put out this narrative, I'm a weird you and late women need to stand up and like, what are you talking about, fam? What are you talking about? What you should do your due, due diligence, watch the whole video, what, or eat better yet, watch the whole podcast, or watch the podcast from last night. Because, again, those women were, there's nothing different from those women that were on the podcast yesterday to the, that, that, those women that was on this podcast video, right? There's no difference between them. It was just how they interacted with me, and did they follow the rules or not? That's the only difference, bruv. So I don't see how I'm weird. How am I weird? Because of your choices in life. That's why, bro. And don't blame it all because of all men. Because you don't date all men. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's it. Uh, what's funny? Like, you see, you see how disingenuous this clip is? Because it just looks like I'm ranting. <laughs> this, this clip is so disingenuous. It just looks like I'm ranting for no reason. And these were, oh, I'm just ranting at these poor... De <laughs> defenseless, innocent bystanders, and I'm just ranting at them. Be <laughs> bearing in mind what we've just reacted to, how that woman was being difficult on purpose and not, not abiding by the rules and talking over me constantly, even though I kept asking her very politely not to do it. Tell me what's funny, like... Um, can I ask you a question? No. Nah. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> this clip makes me look so bad. <laughs> it makes me look like I'm just ranting at them and then this innocent, innocent woman wanted to ask me a question and I said, nah. Do you get what I'm saying, fam? Like anybody that's watching, bruh, just watch the video. Don't look at clips and make up opinions about me, man. Watch the full videos and see, understand context. Like, this is weird, bro. Like, ZZ Mills, it's weird that you didn't go and look into the catalogue to see what is actually going on with this guy. What is this podcast about? Why, wh where does this clip even come from? No, you, you, didn't, you couldn't be bothered to do that. The first thing you thought to do is go to Twitter 
which is a, it, Twitter is just a scumbag place, yeah, to so go to Twitter and try to make me look bad. But you didn't even go and look and see where this clip comes from. That is very unfair, ZZ Mills. And listen, ZZ Mills, you got open inter- invitation to come here, bruh. Open invitation. It's not beef. It's just that at the end of the day, I have to set the record straight because you have a big platform and you put this out, this clip, this, this unfair, uh, out of context clip, you've put it on your platform to, and made me look bad so your audience can come after me now. And you said, ladies, stand up. That's like, what are you trying to do, bro? Anyway. Okay. Nah, okay so you then, can answer the question so then, I asked. So then don't ask me what's funny then. No, nah, then get off the show then. If you're going to be funny. like that, then get off the but show. But you bro. just said no, to no, me no, no, what's no, funny. No, 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 no. You're so not I in said, control. Your you're question. not in control. You're I not in control. You asked me what's funny. Turn off funny. our mic, bruv. You know, you you're not going to just funny. do what you want. You're not going to just do what but you want. But did you not ask me a question? You're not just going to do what you want. Did you ask me a question? Bruh. You said what's funny. And I said... She's ignoring what I'm saying to her. She's just ignoring me. Turn off our mic, bro. I'm listening to this crap, bro. Get out, bro. you got issues. I've got issues because I want to be in control of my own show. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm insecure because I want to be in control of my own show. I have issues because I want to be in control of my own show. <laughs> Bruh. Man, uh, men these days in our society are not allowed to have preferences and you're not allowed to be in a position of authority or control and, and your feelings don't matter. You know, if you're being treated poorly, it doesn't matter, bruv. That's what our society says. You know, uh, people can take two-minute clips and then, you know, try to pay you out to be a bad guy. That's what happens, bro. It's very easy to do it to men. Very easy. But anyway, uh, let's get to the comments underneath ZZ's uh, response. Let's see what they, they were saying from this out-of-context soundbite. Let's go. Let's see. And some poor girl will end up married to this kind of guy. Respect women and you won't have to beg it back. Women <sighs> women will be running to respect you. Help these people, Lord. Are you bringing the Lord into it? <laughs> people that don't understand that the man is meant to be the head and not the tail. But I should let... Uh, this woman just run. Well, obviously, at the end of the day, these I'm assuming that these people that are writing these comments, they didn't bother to watch the whole video either. They're just looking at an out of context video clip. So, uh, she said, "Help these people, Lord, because a lot of men don't know they need counselling. I need counselling because I want to be in control of my own show, and I don't want people to run over me on my own show." All right, cool, got it. Big up. Uh, someone said, "Trust me with this." Big ego, fat ego, and self-importance attitude. Again, I have a fat ego because I want to be in control of my own show. Oh, okay. It's crazy, bro. All right. Um, don't know how people go on his show. Disrespects the women and guys laughing in the back like it's cool. Just a weird guy. What was weird about it, bro? What was weird about it? Please tell me what was weird about this, bro. Like, how and where did I disrespect the woman? Where? I asked this woman, please stop talking over me. I don't want to kick you out. I said it twice. I don't want to kick you out. I don't want to make it a circus. Please stop talking over me. She continued to do it. She was laughing. She was having a good time causing chaos and derailing the whole show. She was having a good time. And these people just completely just, they just don't care. They just want to take the woman's side because she's a woman. They just want to take her side just because. Just because they, they want to, they will rather see me get brought down for nothing. This is weird, bro. Big up to, uh, I keep saying big up to them. <laughs> I keep saying big up to them. But um, uh, the next one, not everyone should have podcasts. That's wild. Another person that can't be bothered to do a little bit of homework to see what's going on. Because again, all you gotta do, go watch my other live shows, go watch the one I did last night, where I had two black women on there and there was no problems. And we talked about touchy subjects as well. We actually went into some touchy subjects and there was still no problem. And I asked them their opinion of me and they didn't have no issue with me. Selective outrage. 
The next one says, you was, you was hit. What, what did it say? You was hit in school. Bruh, some non- can't even string a sentence together. Nonsense. Moving on. Some random crap. Um, what did I just watch? Yeah, exactly. That if anything, you lot should be confused because the video just starts from an odd position in the video. This is a clip that starts completely. You 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 have no understanding of what has happened before, how we led to this. It just starts from this moment where I'm talking to somebody who's off the camera. And then and then it goes into me ranting, and then it goes into the, the woman asking me to ask uh, asking me a question, I'm just saying no. It's completely out of context, it's completely unfair, and it's just this is what you should be thinking. Like, what what did I just see? Like, this doesn't make sense. Let me go and watch the actual channel and the videos to see what actually happened. <sighs> Everyone was backing him in previous video where he was telling a woman to shut up, and I was so confused because his attitude stinks. Bruh, I'm not allowed to be in charge of my own show, my own platform, my own channel. I'm not allowed to be in charge. I should let... Uh, randoms that I've never met before come here and just be in charge and talk over me and say whatever they like. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. That's why every reputable channel or show, they do the same, don't they? I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> Those sort of men used to get bullied. Now it's get back time for them. <laughs> His attitude stinks and this guy is a clown. People need to stop going on his show. He needs counselling, some dead disrespectful content. But again, 99% of the women that come on my show, they don't have an issue with me. They don't have an issue with the show and a lot of them come back. A lot of these people come back again and again and again. So I don't really understand how it's just disrespectful content. It's just nonsense, bruv. Out of context... Again, I don't know. I just don't even care. I just don't even care, bruh. Uh, Twitter's so dangerous, man. You got to be careful. Anyway, I'm, I'm done looking at these, these biased, out of context, unfair comments, bruv. At the end of the day, look. Look, yeah. I'm going to carry on doing my show, doing it my way and being in control. I'm going to carry on doing it. And whoever don't like it, that's your problem. Yeah, I'm, I'm in control of what I'm doing over here. And I think that you lot are very disingenuous. You're not genuine. Um, ZZ Mills, you know, uh, open invitation to come to the show and, you know, tell me what you think about it. We can even react to the videos together if you would like. Because personally, I don't think there's anything disrespectful there. I asked for, uh, I always ask the guests. They're told from before the video starts or the camera start rolling, please do not interrupt the host. Please do not just do like, you know, crazy things or don't act like out wild and stuff like that. When some people, they just don't care. They have no respect and they don't care. I'm, I'm very respectful to all the guests. Very respectful. I say please and thank you to all of them, bruh. And that's it. So anyway, with that being said, you lot, make sure you hit the like button. Let me know what you think about this. Leave a comment below. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram, King Rich is official. I just come back from the gym. Just did 100 burpees in a row, uh, as well as my other workouts. Got boxing videos coming up as well. That's why I've been sweating this whole live stream. It's not because I'm some some sweaty guy, bruv. <laughs> it's because I've been work. Uh, you know, I just come from the gym. 100 burpees. Can you do that? All you people that are looking at me like, oh, he's sweating. Can you do 100 burpees? Can you? I doubt it. No, not most of you anyway. But anyway, with that being said, we're signing out. <sighs> Always do your research. Before you start making statements or writing your little comments or judging people, do your research. Find out things like, you get me? At least watch more, of, more than just two minutes of the video. Why not watch the, the, the three hours and see how bad he really is? But anyway, with that being said, you lot... Take care of yourselves. We're out of here. Peace.